A political analyst said Perikatan National should pull out of Sarawak if it harbours any hope of forming the next federal government. National Council of Professors fellow Januri Amir said it was clear that the dominant Gabungan Party Sarawak had no intention of yielding any seat in the state to any federal-based party in the next general election. PN Lynchpin Bersatu has two MPs from Sarawak, namely Ali Biju and Willie Mongin, who both defected from PKR. Questions have been raised over their future, with GPS looking to contest their seats. No one can form the federal government on their own. Even Barisan National, as dominant as they are right now, will need partners, especially parties in Sabah and Sarawak, Janeri told FMT. He said being on good terms with GPS would increase the likelihood of cooperation after GE15. I think BN realises this, and it is being realistic. That is why you haven't seen any BN presence in Sarawak since GE14, he said. PN is represented in Sarawak by Bersatu and PAS, but Janeri said neither had enough influence to stake a claim to seats in the state. Previously, PN Chairman Muhyiddin Yassin said he and his GPS counterpart, Abang Johari Openg, had agreed to work together in GE15. But Janeri said he did not foresee GPS entering into any cooperation with PN as Muhyiddin was no longer the Prime Minister and so there was little incentive for GPS to do so. To me, if PN wants to prepare for GE15, it should make it clear that they won't clash with GPS. It would be even better if they were to quit Sarawak altogether and focus on the peninsula.